Hi and welcome back to your irregular Latvian lesson. There is no doubt Latvia is a beautiful country. You might have already experienced our lovely historic castles, our magnificent forests and our beautiful seaside. But there is one ecosystem which should not be left out, so today I present to you an ode to the Latvian swamp. Let's go! The swamp, or Purvs, covers 5 to 10 percent of the Latvian territory, with the biggest one being over 200 square kilometers large. And well, let's just say opinions differ on the virtues and vices of the swamp. From the one side, we Latvians accept the swamp as part of the natural order of things, and also it was the first home of our ancestors. We know that because the way archaeologists figured out when the protobalts settled a region for a extended amount of time for the first time is when they found little stone furnaces that the first men had built and that slowly had sunken down into the ground. And when that happened, when the furnace sank, what did the first Latvians do? Did they go into the rest of the 95% of territory that wasn't swampy? No. Instead, he built another furnace right on top of where the first one had sunken into the ground. So, in some places, archaeologists have found the first tributes to Purvs and Latvian stubbornness, which is about eight such furnaces sunken down one on top of the other. But in general, the Latvian mind sees the Purvs as bee stumps or dangerous. Not the place to take a first date or to go and meet the parents. There is even a certain wretchedness associated with the Purvs from the ancient times, when, according to the burial tradition that Latvians practiced, not everybody was allowed to be buried in the cemetery, not to disturb the order of the dead. So, wretched souls, such as those of alcoholics or people who have killed themselves, were seen to be more fit to be thrown into the Purvs. And so it is unsurprising that the Purvs is also the place where the Latvian is most likely to come eye to eye with Valns or the Devil, or other forces of darkness such as Raganas, witches, or Maldogunis, or literally the deceiving fires, the faint glow that appears above the Purvs and that is said to lead people Neceļos, Neceļos, so to the non-roads, but really off the right track, away from where they're supposed to be. In best case scenarios, Maldogunis pretend to lead people to riches or towards their desires. For example, they did that to Spridi, this one of the famous Latvian literary heroes who went searching for happiness into the wide world, only to find it back home in the end. So he followed the Maldugunis because he thought that they're gonna lead him to where the money is drying. Turned out that the Maldugunis were just being neshpatni or mischievous and fortunately nothing else bad happened to Spriditis. However, that is not always the case and Maldugunis are also said to lead people into death in the forms of akachi and atvari or sinkholes, very common in the Purvs you just need to step on it and you will fall through into nothingness never to be seen again. Like it happened to Visma in the story Saplasta Cruze, although it was not Maldugunis that chased her into this particular atvars, but a Latvian man. But you get the point. Uzmanigi. Be careful in the purvs. Unless you're an enemy war tank. Those were kindly welcomed by the Latvian Purvi during both world wars. But not all is bad. Some Latvians who have a little more Shrek in them really appreciate the Purvs for all the energy, healing and nutrition that it provides. For example, the Purvs is very liked by Uogotai, Uogotai or the people who like to go and collect berries. And among the most popular in the Purvs are Dervenes, Dervenes or cranberries. But there are also many other plants and mushrooms that grow in the Purvs. One such flower is the Kaula or the Bog Arum, or in Latvian 
two cow cities or the piglet's ear. Anna Saxe, a Latvian writer, has created a very famous collection on stories on flowers and Tukau this is the one that everybody cries when they read because, according to Saxe, the flower got its name because a little boy was forced by his evil stepmother to go and try to save a pig that was sinking in a swamp and when he failed, the stepmother, with an evil joy, watched how the only thing that was sticking out from the swamp in the end was the ear of a pig and the tiny fist of a child. What a nice thing to read to children. The stories of other flowers are more joyful, I promise. Mm, okay, so other, other things that the Purs provides, so the berries and the plants that grow there are widely used in medicine and also, for example, in creating the famous Latvian alcohol Riga Black Balsam and the clay, mali and dunyas, the sludge from the bog, is used in beauty and regenerative rituals and finally kudra, the turf when it is not burning in a swamp because somebody threw a cigarette in it is one of the most exported products of Latvia, obviously used for fuel. And the purvi are also appreciated by bird enthusiasts and people who like bird watching. And, fun fact, the first ever Latvian rap song was written about Prakais Purva Aasis, or the mad billy goat of the swamp. More on that song on my Patreon later. On the bright side, the Purvi are also very skysty and beautiful, especially at sunrise, which is why the Purvi tourism industry in Latvia has very much developed. In many popular Purvi, long wooden trails are installed so that people could walk through the swamp safely and not have to brist or to wade through it. The purvs and the verb brist really encapture the heaviness of having to walk through the sludgy mess that is a swamp. So, for Latvians, the swamp is a great metaphor for the difficulties that our lives can bring us. For example, when you're having a rough time and somebody asks you, how are you? Instead of saying simply slikti, you can say kapa purvu or like through a swamp, which means bad, but with added misery. Or you can say, I es iebrau zu purva, or oh, I drove right into the swamp, to say that you have made a horrible decision, or that you have found yourself in a horrible situation. Or, even worse, grimstu purva, grimstu purva, I am sinking into the swamp to really accentuate the soul-sucking hopelessness of your situation. And remember, the physical swamp is not the only swamp that Latvians know. Ever so often in the news we read stories about people sinking into alcoholisma purvs, bureaucratias purvs, korruptias purvs. Every bad thing has its own purvs. And the Latvians say, katram saus purvs jais brien, or Everybody has to wade through their own swamp in life. If you're ever looking for a phrase that captures Latvian mentality in one sentence, this may be a good candidate. But for all the difficulties that Latvians have faced, they have also become really resilient to them. And so there is an expression that says, Oh, šo purvu es jau izbridu. Or, oh, that swamp? I already waited. To say that a Latvian recognizes a problem or a problematic situation because he already struggled through it and so they are not going to go there again. And the idea of wading through the swamp as difficulties when living life is also reflected in the Latvian literature. A Latvian classic by Rudolf Blaumannis, Purva Brides, or The Wader of the Swamp, tells the story of Christine that basically has to choose between two guys. One is handsome, wealthy and stable, wants to marry her, 
And the second is handsome, unstable, and somewhat of a plagurs, which is how we call somebody who drinks a lot. And he is the purva brides, due to his not being able to deal with his drinking and temper problems throughout the book. So, who do you think this wise and prudent girl chooses in the end? Yep, unfortunately, just like many Latvian women, Kristina goes for the Plagurs. And here I would like to introduce an irregular Latvian expression, not known to wider Latvia, but that I grew up with and actually kind of thought everybody knew. It comes from a Russian children's cartoon about a boy who has to build a flying ship. To do so, he asks for help from this fat, Swamp fish. And the swamp fish sings a song about how its life is miserable living in the swamp and how it dreams of flying. At some point it says in Russian, My life is worthless like a tin can. Oh, throw it into the swamp. The irregular Latvian dad Latvianized this expression into Nutad purva to say that when something is simply not worth it, throw it into the swamp. It turns out to be a very versatile expression that can be used for many things. Activities and people can be thrown into the swamp. For example, feeling stuck in a project that you are no longer really passionate about? Or reading a book that turns out to be way less interesting than expected? Negative emotions? Exhausting worries, purva. And if you find yourself entangled with a purva brides, how about purva them as well? And there you go, one step closer to understanding Latvians now that you understand their purvs. What are your thoughts on the purvs? Have you already visited one and enjoyed it? As always, thanks for supporting me on Patreon. A dissection of Latvian swamp rap is waiting for you there this month. And thanks for watching as well. See you soon, maybe.